I've got one for you. Go on then. Post nut syndrome. Oh, you saw that on Joe Rogan, didn't you? No. He did a thing on that. I saw it in the Waffling Podcast yes, Noak section. Yeah, because I watched Joe Rogan and I was like, that's a good topic. What is post nut syndrome? You know, like, once you nut. <laughs> it's the really, post. really American way of putting it. Isn't <laughs> What's it? your nut? No. <laughs> What's your nut? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so it's once you obviously complete the process, <laughs> you, uh, you know, you get that thing of like... <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh wait, yeah. oh, wait. <laughs> wait, this is what we were talking about. What? Were we talking about it with you? How you feel like guilty after every time. <laughs> so every time he completes the process. Not me. I've not had this conversation with you, mate. I think it is you. This might be you and I don't know. Stop hitting the table. Yeah, I'm hitting the table. It was you. It was it's definitely you. Your girlfriend feels every after time. You so and... every time you complete the process, you feel guilty about doing it. No, I, I, mate, I know for a fact I've not spoken to you about that. That's why I've put it in the podcast so we can speak about it now. But what I'm gonna say is, do you experience any sort of like feeling <laughs> after? Say, for example, not necessarily with the love of your life. But if, if, oh no, but you've not had loads of different lovers. Okay, what about just, uh... Last one, you blurred it out last time. What about, okay, no, what about uh, if you watch something and afterwards you ever feel like, oh, I just feel dirty. As in like, oh, that was gross. Like, yeah, or just like... Do you ever regret, like a regret? Yeah, it's like almost like you find out, basically what they were saying on Joe Rogan is like, you find out if you're tr- truly into a girl after you've, done it because then your true feeling if it was just like uh lustful and that's it well then once you've completed that it's like oh i don't feel anything <laughs> for them now and that's sort of a good way to gauge whether you're actually into them but uh, i guess but obviously where you've like, <laughs> you know it's difficult if you haven't slept with loads of people but we could go down the route of after you've nutted self nutted <laughs> um <laughs> self nutted <laughs> Do you feel ever feel like guilty or like why have I done that? Or not dirt? the guilt. I'm not guilty. It's more just a sense of like, oh, <laughs> why'd I do that? <laughs> it's just like I I've never had that feeling. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's why I, I Wait, can't. You? Yeah. Well, as in like, surely you've watched something, completed the process, and then been like, that was gross. Like, how did I come across that video or something? No. Like that? That's what I'm so baffled about. No, but not even like a sense of, oh, I've let, let myself down. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no. I, was having, I literally had this conversation last week and I was so... Well, so you've never experienced post-nut syndrome? I don't think I have. I was so confused. How do you feel afterwards? Because I'm like, okay, go on my day, I don't know. Just like, yeah, high five myself. <laughs> I don't, I don't, that's a joke. <laughs> No, I'm I'm so confused by this. <laughs> really? Yeah, and I, someone else. Put, I had a three way conversation. <laughs> <laughs> three way. Person next to me agreed and was like, oh, "Yeah, I don't understand it. What what is this?" What? And then the person I was talking to was like, "What? You've never felt like guilty or like?" It's just like okay, so say like okay, let's just put it like this. So say there's a you know you pull someone in a club and then you do the thing and then afterwards you're like, "Oh God." What did I do? What did I do? But it's because like your, your, uh, I don't know. What, what? What? How would you name it? Your Regret? that sex drive sort of over overtook when you're like, you know, you're pursuing the the female, but then once it's done, you you know, you know, and you're not really interested in her, but it's like you, you only know, had... the whole the whole lustful thing. You wanted, to, you really wanted to like have that moment. You were like vibing with her and all that. Yeah, tunnel vision. And then you had you had the moment, and then once it's over, it's kind of like oh. Oh, why did I do that? It's just like you don't feel. Yeah, I, it's like an emptiness. It's like a. Is that right? Am I, how am I, does, does that sound right? Yeah, how I'm no, describing like, it? It's it's because that whole process you're thinking with. You is can't. That, uh, yeah, you're like, that is is what's driving your brain. And then your brain overtakes. Than, yeah, and that's why like. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's. It, I don't think I've ever experienced post nut syndrome. Am I? Are you an aggressive self please? <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> okay, on a scale of one to ten, how would you describe yourself being one being a wimp and ten being like am- animalistic? A wimp. Or like you know, like in a, what? In what? In the bedroom. <laughs> so ten being animalistic, <laughs> one being just like a frog, like nothing. A frog. I don't know. A frog. <laughs> a, little, a little puppy or something. I don't know. Something. Puppies absolutely go <laughs> shag your arm. <laughs> what? Um, what? <laughs> what are you? Go on, I'm putting you on the spot now. Are you 10 out of 10 animalistic? 
<laughs> Take that as a yes. <laughs> I have urges. No, no, no. This is dodgy. This isn't appropriate. This isn't well, I'm a man <laughs> that has recently brought a house. No, I'm a man that has the natural male drives, right? <laughs> Just like you. Or maybe not you. Are you not? Do you not? I have male drives. Do you? What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes think to myself, I'm like, you know, Malfoy, he just never really... No, you like Kylie <laughs> Jenner, don't you? What is that? <laughs> it's like anything to do Because you always bring her up, like, oh, you see her in that <laughs> ski outfit. Oh, doesn't it just make you, oh, she's getting fitter and fitter, I can't take it. Like, literally, I don't know, you, you <laughs> never, just... I never you do. that. You do. And this is why I'm like, sort of... all the time. So, do you ever feel guilty about... Self pleasing yourself over her and not your girlfriend. Oh, this is now, now we're going on a different, completely different subject. Of do you, is it, remember we had this, like, is it cheating if you're, if you're, if you're self not over a, 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 an Instagram photo? Is it? Is it? I, I don't think so. What did we call it? I don't know. I what think it's, we no, said no, last no, it's time. not. No, it's not. Unless you're like, so, but if you, if you were to do that, do you not feel a sense of like, oh, no, <laughs> like you really just feel like, oh, why did I do that? I, I'm not. So after every time you have a self-pleasing session, you go, yeah, I feel <laughs> great now. I feel even, I feel really good. I don't know, not, I just get on with my day. Does it not take the life and soul out of you? <laughs> No, but it's in like... What, so every time you self-nut? I know. If I haven't in ages, I... <laughs> Lose your mind. No, I become more confident. No, but I do because I think, and I do, I think this is why, you know, they, they say you shouldn't do it before, say, a boxing match. Because, you know, it's having that animalistic, that, mm, that whatever. And I feel like when I haven't in ages, then I'm more confident when I'm like talking to people, whatever, because I'm more hungry. I'm more like, mm, I think it's all subconscious, but I think I do believe that. So that said, it you do get, I feel like you're more stressed when you're, which is why it's a great stress reliever. <laughs> <laughs> Seven times a day. Seven. <laughs> What's your record? What? What's your record? What's your record? <laughs> What's your record? What is your record? I'm, probably, I'm not like twice. You're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Standard <laughs> 20 why do we do this on camera <laughs> who can embarrass wait, wait, no, the most no, I saw that in the comments I'm like I love this this podcast it's literally just two lads trying to like embarrass each other like more than the other and it's true isn't Can't it wait for the Christmas party the Christmas we could do a Christmas special have you ever we could get do you reckon people cheat on their people on Christmas parties I think that happens quite a lot or not cheat but as in like at like an I office think party at office Christmas parties it's like the ideal scenario, that workmate that you've been looking and you both, you know, you've been little wise back and forward all year. I reckon that's where it happens a lot. Christmas parties, especially office Christmas parties, are definitely a... Yeah. I really think so. Yeah. What about New Year? Chicken people nut on New Year? I don't know. What do you reckon the highest month of pregnancy there is? So well, eight months after New, New Year. Year, because September eight the months. listen September the ninth. Is it nine months, lads? September the ninth is the most common birthday in America, which means that's nine months after like New Year, isn't it? Wow. Mm. So it's New Year, Christmas is the time that people have unprotected it's family sex. time. Yeah, it's family time. It's like we're all eating. <laughs> you know, you're probably eating more like carbs, and the glucose and carbs promotes like uh, libido. Obviously, like your sex drive. It's like if you go on a diet with no carbs your sex drive goes that literally goes how do you know so much about this research it why's my sex drive gone <laughs> <laughs> why do I have a stupidly high libido <laughs> <laughs> killed it <laughs> made it didn't killed it even more shut up anyways <clears throat> right um, so yeah I think something what are we talking about was it, what, was that, was what, that, what, where did that come from I don't know, what are we going on about <laughs> No, what? <laughs> self no, oh, post nut syndrome. Post, post. Yeah, I, mate, it's a thing. It is a thing. I Let us know. know. Is it a thing? Yeah.